Hello everyone, and welcome to the Chassis Variant series of myself, Critical Rocket, and here we are with the Incubus Variants. This part of the series covers Incubus 2, 3, 4, and 5, and yes, you heard it, it's part of the glorious Domination series. Oh yes, we're back again with that one. It's been a while, and uh, strangely enough in the Incubus, a mech that I wasn't particularly sort of high on when it was first announced, but I've uh, since come to, uh, to, to like the little fella. It's uh, quite an interesting light mech, as I said in my uh, initial gameplay video when it was released, uh, which is coincidentally, I think it's called INC-1 gameplay for the Incubus. Uh, the mech's also known as the Vixen. Uh, use whatever version of that name you, you uh, prefer. So, this match, uh, I'll, I'll come straight out of it. I, I, I knew there was a guy who was disconnected at the start for the enemy team, and I thought, well, I, I, I want to live the dream. I want to be that person who finds that disconnected player and shoot him in the back and kill him before he can reconnect so we can give my team a, a leg up at the start. So the first two and a half minutes is literally me pegging it around the edge of the map so I can find the disconnected player and then I can shoot him. And uh, that's why I keep checking the scoreboard because I keep like, is he, is he reconnected? Is he reconnected yet? Is he back yet? Because <laughs> I didn't want a situation where I got around the back there and it was like a I suddenly go, ah, 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 and I shoot an atlas in the back, and then it just turns around and fucking vaporizes me. I didn't want that to happen. So, yeah, uh, apologies for this initial section, but uh, I, on, I recorded it, I didn't think it would actually work. Uh, so, the Incubus 2 is not a huge departure from uh, the standard Incubus. The whole point was this idea that it carried a, what, what was named a battle rifle in the hand, and this was a, a writer's way of explaining the art because the original art for the for the incubus was very anime inspired so it carried a rifle a uh, very similar vein to things like the wolverine and the battle master and the, the the thing that those mechs have in common is that they are from animes where they obviously had a very gundam style idea of of carrying a rifle around with ammunition and stuff that they would put different clips in and stuff but in battletech that doesn't really happen so it's more it's counted more as the kind of style feature and the Incubus 2 and its rifle, although it looks like it's carrying it, it doesn't. It's actually attached to the arm. And in this case, they explain it as a modular uh, weapon system. So in this case, uh, the large pulse laser that's on the Incubus 1 is replaced by an ERPPC. And as you can see, it's insanely hot. It's more of a heat issue than the Incubus 1, and thus it really, really isn't worth the hassle. Uh, if I have to be completely honest, uh, it's a mech that is good, but it certainly suffers a lot uh, from heat issues. Uh, one of the first things you're going to want to do is uh, one or two things. You're probably going to want to drop the heat uh, of the mech by obviously changing the weapon set. You may also want to free up space for adding things like heat sinks because the mech doesn't really come with any extra heat sinks. It's just got what's got on the engine. And it's a big engine because it can run very fast. So, probably a mix of skills to manage your heat issues, combined with uh, a different engine setup, because at least this being a battle mech, you can alter the engine however you feel. So, I would recommend something along those lines. You, you, you want to uh, make sure that you've got some options available to you, because the default loadout is good, the damage is there, it's still got the four machine guns for uh, opening up uh, critical locations, and it's got the two ER mediums that are backups, but the main punch of both the one and the two variants are extremely high heat weapons, and I don't know if they have the payoff damage-wise. Now the Incubus 2, uh, energy, well, hard point wise sorry, uh, looks like it's got, uh, let's see, to the top of my head, it's three, uh, three energy and five ballistic. This this is the model that you will be focusing mainly on your machine guns with, I imagine. I can't really see you doing much else with a 30 tonner uh, that will give you any actual decent ballistics. So this is the mech that PGI gave all the ballistics hard points to. So this is clearly has an emphasis on running it with a lot of machine guns and some backup energy weaponry. So uh, it, it's a hint where the hard points are concerned. Uh, I personally think that the quad machine guns are, are the best version of the setup for this mech you can get. I've, the light machine gun version, which comes up later on, uh, is okay, but I'm not enamoured with it. Outside of that, uh, the Incubus 2 is fun. It, it just it needs a little bit of tweaking uh, to make it good. Uh, but other than that, 
And there really isn't much else to say about the Incubus 2. It was a short, sharp match. It, as Solaris normally is, it, it shit starts. And it very quickly goes down to who can get the kills faster of the uh, of the two sides. And uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. I uh, promise that the other matches are a bit more entertaining than that. And uh, we'll uh, see you next time. Have a good week, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.